A fair weather forecast brings a huge crowd to Doncaster for the 1956 and Ledger, and this time at least, the Met men turn out to be right. The Queen has high felt entered, and WH Carr will be riding him. Her Majesty goes to the paddock to inspect the field of 13 runners. Here's High Felt, call over price five to one. Court command with Lester Pickett up. It goes without saying these days that there's a strong French challenge, including the favorite Baron de Rothschild, Paul Levis. The money tells what punters expect, not what they hope for. Though everyone says he'd like to see a home victory, perhaps a royal one. The last bet says the field lines up for the start. Five bob on that last minute hunch, but Pon Levis's position as favourite is still unchallenged. And they're off! Well bunched up in the first furlong. The favourite's leading, but court command is close behind. And now it's court command just in front of Pon Levis, with Lord Astor's hornbeam third and Talgo fourth. Beam and Talgo are closing up on the leaders. It looks as though Paul Levis and Court Command have been wearing each other down just a bit too soon. The favourite's pulling on his rein, and jockey Paul Blanc hasn't been able to check him. Into the straight, still in a bunch, but Paul Levis has lost his lead. Four furlongs to go, and it might be anybody's race. Court command is weakening, and the favourite is falling back along the rails, but Talgo and Hornbeam are still there. Now it's Talgo in the lead, with Hornbeam and French Beige on his tail. And here's Combremere making a challenge on the outside. Jockey Fred Palmer's taking him right up among the leaders. Two furlongs to go. Five of them almost neck to neck, but Combremere's pulling away, and Hornbeam battling gamely to stay with him. Combremere's mastering Hornbeam, only a few yards to go, and it looks like yet another French victory. Yes, it's Combremere with Hornbeam second and French Beige third. So Fred Palmer, French-born jockey who won last year's derby on Phil Drake, adds another English classic to his triumphs and makes it a hat-trick for France this season. French horses won the Derby and the Oaks and now the St. Ledger. It would be ungenerous not to congratulate them, but when are we going to turn the tables?